The biggest misconception of artificial intelligence is that it can be designed 100% or in an objective way. Uh, artificial intelligence, like most other technologies, are in essence socio-technological artifacts. And as a result, you will always have the context in which it is being created determine the design. And as a result, it will never be 100% objective. One of the most important questions uh, with regard to AI ethics is the question of asymmetry, by which I mean, who has access to the data that can inform the algorithm and inform the, uh, ultimately the output of artificial intelligence? Who knows what the, uh, and how the algorithm has been made? So we don't only have data asymmetries, we also have information asymmetries. And who has the resources to actually run all those algorithms uh, um, in order to generate insight? And so data, information, and resource asymmetries are strengthening power asymmetries and undermining equity. And that's one of the most important challenges and questions in AI ethics, which is who decides? We are about to release the Global AI Ethics Course, which focuses on global insights with regard to AI ethics. And the need for the course is based upon the need to really learn from each other across the world. I mean, too often discussions about AI ethics are narrow and are uh, focused as if no one else have had similar kind of discussions. And so what we hope to do with this course is to really provide for comparative insights on what other countries, cultures, communities, regions, continents have um, learned from the last few years of experimenting with AI ethics and with AI governance. And so the course is gonna focus on three big areas. One, which is around AI applications and their ethical uh, impact and how different societies have responded to those impacts differently. Two, the issue of data and the way data is organized in societies to actually um, support equitable and fair uh, AI. And then three, different governance structures that seeks to uh, make AI more ethical. And so those are three areas that we will explore. We have about 18 faculty that have agreed to share their wisdom and uh, hope everyone will join. As with most decisions in a democratic context, decisions with regard to regulation, with regard to policy, with regard to governance in general, needs to be developed in a legitimate manner. And legitimacy typically has four components. One, it needs to be transparent, i.e. what are the decisions and how are the decisions made. Two, it needs to be accountable, i.e. how uh, will those that are designing and making decisions be accountable down the line with regard to AI ethics. Three, it needs to be representative of those interests in society that will be affected by the design of the policies so that you ultimately have, for instance, community organizations being part of the deliberations and the agenda setting with regard to AI ethics. And then four, it needs to be participatory and inclusive, which is why we've also have, uh, have recommended that every society should develop or every country or every city for that matter should develop an AI assembly where there is a deliberation with citizens around AI and the ethical implications, given the fact that AI will become a major part of decision-making moving forward. So it is crucial to learn from each other and to also 
um, have an international group like the one that has been convened here uh, be asked to reflect on unique questions that might be unique in a particular kind of context, but could be uh, illuminated on how to go about it by actually bringing in this international expertise. And so I think the group has a unique opportunity to go beyond a narrow, quite often um, very um, parochial way to look at uh, AI and AI ethics and make it more broader and sophisticated by taking comparative insights into account when uh, reviewing certain kinds of applications or certain kinds of ethical challenges. And I think uh, that's the opportunity here. I think the key element with AI is the second element, i.e. intelligence. And I think the key challenge is here to uh, reframe the question, to what extent will artificial intelligence affect human intelligence? And, uh, and there are a variety of ways to look into that. One is that obviously it can improve uh, and augment uh, human intelligence in a way that might be beneficial, but it can also take away the agency that is quite often linked with human intelligence, which then is the agency of judgment and the agency of actually being able to contextualize certain kinds of decisions through typical human uh, um, faculties. And so if you take away the, uh, the agency that is associated with human intelligence, then it will affect uh, uh, basically human decision making in a negative way. And so that would be my uh, short answer would be uh, artificial intelligence will have a major impact on human intelligence. But what we need to be sensitive to is how human intelligence also is closely linked, linked with human agency. And when it affects that human agency connection, then uh, we have to be extra vigilant and concerned.